This stuff's so old, it takes 9-volt batteries. Pa pass me that 9-volt. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and stick it on your tongue real quick. See what happens. Hey. Welcome to CK4RC. Welcome back to the channel. Doesn't taste good, does it? Yeah, it feels a little weird. Um, here we are, back out in the garage. Day two of sorting through the garage. I've got through some stuff, and I have found some stuff. So I'm back out here in the garage. I've got my only RC shirt on. Go to the website, use a discount code, get the stuff, save the money. You know what to do. That's it. So I went through. I pulled some stuff out. I found some great vintage video games. Game Boy, Virtual Game Boy, um, a Tiger R Zone, is that what it's called? I don't know. It's like a virtual Tiger handheld game. I, whatever. I don't know. Atari, uh, was it 6400? I don't know. One of the old ones, the originals. Ton of games. I got three copies of Super RC Pro Am. Who needs three copies of that game? Why does somebody need three copies of that game? Well, let me ask you this question. I'm going to answer that question with this question. Why do people like security blankets? Because it just makes them feel good. I feel good knowing I got three copies of that game now. I only had one. Now I got three. That's how numbers work. So here we are. Anyway, so I'm going to pull some stuff out. We're going to see what all I came across. What about this guy? This is just an extra bucket doesn't go with this sled there's a there's supposed to be a smaller sled that's red that this goes to but i don't have that but i do have the yellow one now i'm missing an axle and some wheels as you can see of course down, down below i got the yellow bucket it's down on the ground but as you can see the string pulley system that's gone so maybe a little bit of work this might be usable ah, i don't know we'll see um, if you remember, this thing came with, so it came with, there was a Bigfoot, and I think maybe a black gold. Is that what the truck was called? If you remember this sled, and you remember the trucks I'm about to talk about, drop it down in the comments. Was it black gold? Was that the name of it? So it was battery-powered pulling truck. It was, the first one was based on Bigfoot, had controls on top of the cab. You could make it go forward, you may go backwards. I think there was a high and a low gear, and then that sled came with it. And it just pulled it. It was super cool, really basic, but in the 80s, a top notch toys. So we got the pulling sled. I don't have the truck that I know it came with it, but wasn't around. Um, I think I might have showed these last time. So these are some really small, they're probably about, probably about. 30 second scale would be my guess. 36 scale possibly. Um, made by Galoob. Same people that made Micro Machines. Uh, but these are battery powered. They used to be monster trucks. I've got, I've got three chassis right here. And I've got three bodies to go with them. I've got the Thunder Chicken. I got Micro Machines. And then, of course, oh, I got the Grave Digger. You better believe I do. You better believe I do. But anyway, and then I've got just a whole bunch of tires, tiny little monster truck tires, because for some reason, I felt the need to take them off the wheels at some point, probably 30 years ago. Now, we can look at this, and we've got some good ugly corrosion in the battery compartment. These things are caked in 35-year-old dirt and mud. These things are not going to work. There is an on-off switch down here on the bottom of the chassis. Um, zero chance these are going to work. But I might clean them up and put them back together and just maybe lay them around. Lay them around a course or something. A little graveyard, a little boneyard, if you will. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. And then, oh man. We got this cool big Bubba Nico. This one's actually RC. The other one, the other ones are just battery powered. They just go in a straight line. There's no backup. There's no turning. Straight line. This is actual RC. There's no suspension on this guy, but it is full function. 
And it runs, ooh yeah, I like this. Runs on four AAA batteries and look how clean that battery compartment is. I have a feeling that my dad probably saved the day with this one and took the batteries out because as a kid, there's zero chance I would have. So that may have saved this truck. Now, what I have to figure out, this truck, oh, the body's starting to come off. That's all right. This truck, somewhere on here, it's got to say the frequency. I think this is 49 megahertz, right? I think it's 49. I'm actually, I'm asking you guys, like you would know. I'm going to say it's 49 megahertz because that just sounds better than 27 megahertz, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you what it's not. See, this is Nico. This is Tyco. So this is not what, what goes to it. I don't even know what this goes to. I didn't even find a Tyco truck. So I don't, I, I don't know. But I did find a USA one body that does go along with the big Bubba. It probably had its own chassis at one point. And then I did come across these. You gotta be careful with these metal antennas whipping around. Put your eye out. Yeah, probably. So this one's 27 megs. Megs? You know, megalodons. This one's 49 megahertz. So we're gonna see, but this is what I was talking about. These guys right here. Nine volt, but look at that though. No battery in there, nice clean compartment, and it has the battery cover. How crazy is that? These are 35 year old toys, and they both still have a battery cover. What's the compartment looking like? Clean? Looking clean in this one too. Hot dog. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hot dog. So I'm going to throw some batteries in this guy. We're going to see what happens. Maybe we can run it around a little bit, drive it, let's see. And then the last thing that I'm going to try testing today, eh, maybe, we'll see. Might have two things. I got this guy. I don't have a body for it, so it's a huge bummer, but it's called the Animal. And this was a crawler before crawlers were even a thing. So it's got these wheel lock things. I don't even know what to call them. Locking hubcaps, I don't know. But you spin that. And these claws come out and it helps it grab traction. Look at that. And it's on all four tires. And there's so one way you can have them out permanently, and another way you can have them in. And when they start spinning and get stuck, like they kind of automatically come out. I don't remember. I haven't played with this thing in 35 years. So I'm gonna throw some batteries in there because look, another clean battery compartment. Throw some batteries in here and see. That switch feels like it's going to work. So we're going to see what happens. Let's get outside and check it out. All right, let's go ahead and slap some batteries in this thing. I don't know which way is on, which way is off. I'm going to say this looks like maybe it could be off. I don't know. Slap some batteries in this guy. Okay, we have contact. Um, Maybe that's off, or maybe it's broken. Here we go. The moment of truth. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> I did not expect that to work. Holy crap. All right, now I got to see if I can figure out these wheels. Come on. Come on out. All right, maybe I'll try flipping these locks and see if that does anything. I don't even know how to make these things work. Maybe I had them locked in place and they were like, nope, that's not how we work. All right, well, I'm trying here. Oh no, no. Okay, here we go. We're back in business. Oh no, come on. Oh no. Talk about anticlimactic. Last try. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing may have just run its last run. Oh, no. 
All right, so what I can't find on the Big Bubba is the frequency anywhere. But what I did find is the sticker right here. And I don't know what this sticker's for. Could be a quality control sticker. I don't know, but it says 20620. And then on the back of these two Nico batteries, or uh, remote controls, I've got a 31322, and then voila, I've got a 20620. And so I think 49 megahertz might be the way to go. So let's slap a nine volt in here and see if we get any action. Okay, now with these old toy RCs, there is no power button on the remote control. I'm not gonna call it a transmitter because it's really just not that fancy and I don't feel right calling it that. So I'm gonna call it a remote control. You can call it a radio control because it actually is radio waves. Remote control was a thing, but remote control technically I believe uh, is when the wire is connected from the remote to the vehicle and it's not independent. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, leave me a comment down below and let me know if I'm mistaken on that, but I believe remote control is connected by a wire whereas radio control works with radio waves. But anyway, this is a radio control, remote control, whatever you want to call it, controller. I'm not going to call it a transmitter. That's just all there is to it. But there is no power button on the radio. So, okay, it's turned on. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, well, if I remember correctly, you can touch the wires together. And is that like improve the signal, reduce interference? Uh, but it's not doing anything for me, though. Man, what a bummer. Let me see if I can feel anything. No, this thing's just dead. Bummer. Womp womp. So in the name of science, I did try the other controller, and it still, the Big Bubba was not responsive. So... Big time let down, but it was worth a shot, and I didn't know, and now I know. So I've got one more thing that we really need to test. And you all may recall this from the previous video when I said that if you wanted me to run it, I would try to run it. And everybody said, might as well try it. So we're going to try it. Step one. Six double A's in this bad boy. Step two, got to get the antenna screwed in. I mixed alkaline batteries, don't tell the manufacturer. But test number one, we have power. Oh, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This worries me a little bit. The battery compartment actually doesn't look too bad. There is a little bit of corrosion right there on that. That one contact is about the only place it's looking too bad, but this is looking pretty sketchy. Uh, that looks like some melted plastic in the battery compartment. That's never a good sign. And then I don't know what's going on here, um, but guys, that's just scotch tape um, on the motor leads, motor wires. Um, that's probably that's probably not. That's probably not good. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, prob probably not good. Um, but, so this is channel four on the old transmitter and receiver. Um, and back in the day, you had to have different crystals for different frequencies. So let me make sure that this is lining up with that transmitter, but I can already guarantee you it does. Yep, if you look real close, there's the band four. So we're good there. Um, all right, well, let's see if I can find a battery pack to slap in this bad boy and uh, let's see what happens. All right, the moment of truth. Transmitter on. Car. Oh. oh, there's something happening here. 
Uh oh, I got no control. Uh, can you guys hear that? This thing is super jacked up and there's no acceleration or reverse or anything. Just this. Well, we'll shut that off before it starts a fire. So there we have it. Man, we tried our best and I was hopeful. Um, with the way that these battery compartments were looking, I really thought maybe we could get something going. And today just wasn't the day. The animal gave us its last dying breath. And that was almost cool to see. Uh, but, you know, I mean, sometimes, listen, they, they can't all be winners. And it just, it is what it is. But I do have the first real RC model I ever owned. And so I have that back in my possession. And that's cool, man. I'll keep the box. I'll keep the buggy. Doesn't work, but it'll set up on my shelf. And it'll be a nice little memento you know for sentimental reasons because i'm just that kind of a sentimental kind of guy you know what i mean anyway like i said they can't all be winners you win some you lose some today we lost but keep doing rc stuff hit that quad factor before you go like subscribe comment and share um help me get the channel out there hey that'd be great keep doing rc stuff and i'll see you next time